Google dropped so many insane AI updates, it's actually hard to keep up. Google just did something crazy. While everyone's arguing about which AI model is best, Google quietly dropped an entire AI ecosystem upgrade. And I'm not talking about one or two features, I'm talking about updates across Gemini, Notebook LM, Gmail, design tools, video creation, and even your web browser. This is massive, and most people have no idea it even happened, so let me break down everything Google just chipped. Because this isn't hype, this is Google flipping a switch. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below. Let's start with something wild. Google just made AI understand fashion, like actually understand your style, it's called Doppel, and it's not just another shopping tool. This thing creates a personalized fashion discovery feed based on your vibe not your size, your vibe, you open it up and it's showing you outfits that match your taste, it's learning what you like and here's the crazy part, it's got built-in shopping links so you see something you love, you can buy it right there plus you can save looks into collections it's like Pinterest meets TikTok shop meets an AI stylist that actually gets you this is AI moving from search to taste and that's a big deal because taste is personal, taste is human and now AI is cracking that code Next up, Mixboard. This is Google's answer to Notion, FigJam, and Slides all rolled into one, and they just upgraded it hard. You can now create presentations with something called Nano Banana Pro. You can upload new file types, and you can organize multiple boards into projects. This matters because it's not just brainstorming anymore. It's execution. You're not just throwing ideas on a board. You're building presentations. You're organizing files. You're managing projects all in one place. And it's all powered by Gemini, so if you're a creator, a student, or someone building anything, this tool just became way more useful. Now let's talk about Pomeli, this one's insane. Google just added an animate feature powered by VO 3.1. And what it does is turn your static content into on-brand animations. No animation skills needed, no editing software. You just give it your content, and it creates smooth cinematic transitions that match your brand. Static content is officially dead because now anyone can animate anything, you, and it looks professional. Then there's Jules Agent. And this is where things get really interesting, because Jules isn't just responding to your prompts, it's proactive, it surfaces tasks before you ask, it automates fixes before you notice the problem, it's acting like a teammate, not just an assistant. This is real agent behavior, less prompting, more doing, and that's the future of AI. Not tools that wait for you to tell them what to do, tools that see what needs to happen and just do it. Google also updated Stitch, and if you're a designer or developer, this one's for you. They added Gemini 3 Pro, they added working prototypes. You can now generate working HTML from Nano Banana Pro. There's a new command palette, like hitting Command K and getting instant access to everything. And here's the wild part, predictive heat maps. That means before your users even click, you can see where they're going to click. You're getting insight before behavior happens. Designed to code to prediction, all in one flow. That's crazy. And if you want to learn how to use tools like Gemini and Notebook LM to automate your workflows, scale your business and save hundreds of hours, you need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. This is where we teach you how to integrate these exact tools into your business. You'll learn how to use Google's AI stack to get more customers, close more deals and automate everything that's eating up your time. The link's in the description. And trust me, this is where the real magic happens. Now let me show you something most people missed. It's called Disco, and it's an experimental AI browsing tool powered by Gemini 3. Here's what it does. It takes your open tabs and remixes them into custom apps. Yes, you read that, right? Your browser just became an app factory. You got five tabs open researching something. Disco can turn those into a mini app. Tabs become tools. Your browser becomes a builder. This is next level, and it's still experimental, but it shows you where Google's headed. They're not just making browsing faster. They're making it smarter Then there's CC. This is AI living inside your Gmail, and it just got two huge updates. First, there's a feature called Your Day Ahead. It's a briefing that shows up every morning. It tells you what's coming, what emails need attention, what's urgent, what can wait. Second, you can now email CC anytime. You can ask it questions. You can have it draft replies. You can let it organize your inbox while you focus on actual work. This is AI meeting you where you actually live. Because let's be honest, most of us live in our inbox and now it's finally getting smart. But here's the big one, Notebook LM. This tool just went absolutely crazy on mobile. And I'm talking game changing updates. First, you can now create infographics and slide decks. So you're not just taking notes, 
you're turning those notes into presentations, you're turning research into visuals. Second, audio overviews now sync across all your devices so you can start listening on your phone, switch to your laptop and pick up right where you left off, seamless. Third, you can now use your camera to capture images as sources. You see something in real life, you snap it and Notebook LM pulls it into your knowledge base, that's wild. Fourth, bigger prompt limits so you can ask it more, you can go deeper, you can process more information at once. Fifth, docx support. So now you can upload Word docs and it just works. And sixth, Notebook LM just joined the Google AI Ultra plan, which means if you're paying for Ultra, you're getting Notebook LM as part of the package. This is Google saying Notebook LM isn't a side project anymore. It's core. If you're a student, this is your new study partner. If you're a researcher, this is your second brain. If you're a creator, this is your content engine. This is massive. Now let's talk about Opal and Flow. These are creator tools and Google just quietly made them way better. Opal is now in the Gemini Gems tab and it introduced Nano Banana Pro. So you're getting better outputs, faster results, higher quality. Flow got object removal so you can clean up your videos and images, just point at something you don't want and it's gone. Plus Nano Banana Pro image downloads in 2K and 4K. So you're getting high res visuals that actually look professional. Google just gave creators better tools, quietly. While everyone was looking at other AI companies, Google was shipping updates that actually help you make better content. So let me zoom out for a second. This wasn't one update. This was Google upgrading the entire AI stack, fashion discovery, project management, video animation, proactive agents, designed to code with predictions, browser-based app creation, AI in your inbox, mobile knowledge management, creator tools. They didn't just improve one product, they improved the whole ecosystem and they did it fast. While everyone else is talking, Google is shipping. Here's what this means for you. If you're building anything, if you're creating anything, if you're trying to work smarter, Google just gave you a full toolkit and most people don't even know it exists yet. You can use Doppel to understand trends. You can use Mixboard to organize projects. You can use Pomeli to animate content. You can use Jules to automate tasks. You can use Stitch to go from design to code. You can use Disco to turn research into tools. You can use CC to manage your inbox. You can use Notebook LM to build your knowledge base. You can use Opal and Flow to create high quality content. Google just gave creators better tools, quietly. While everyone was looking at other AI companies, Google was shipping updates that actually help you make better content. So which update shocked you the most? Was it Notebook LM going crazy on mobile? Was it Disco turning your browser into an app factory? Was it Jules becoming a proactive teammate? Drop a comment and let me know because Julian reads every single comment. And if you want to learn exactly how to use Google's AI tools like Gemini and Notebook LM to scale your business, automate your workflows and save hundreds of hours every month, you need to join the AI Profit Boardroom. This is the best place to learn how to use these exact updates in your business. You'll get step-by-step -step training on automating with Gemini, building systems with Notebook LM, and scaling faster with AI. The link's in the description. Don't sleep on this. And if you want the full process, SOPs, and 100 plus AI use cases like this one, join the AI Success Lab. Link's in the comments and description. You'll get all the video notes from there, plus access to our community of 38,000 members who are crushing it with AI. That's it for today. Hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.